Hi, I'm Claire Dyson and I am a gardener and an outdoor educator and I love getting outside, having adventures and uh, doing stuff that involves looking at nature and finding out more about it. So today what we're going to do is something special for the birds in this town. So where we live there's lots of houses and um, there's birds around but the birds don't have loads and loads of food at the moment because it's winter. So what we're going to do is make a bird cafe and one of the things we're going to make for the bird cafe is these lovely delicious fat balls and they're going to help the birds have lots of fat and protein for them to eat and then that will give them lots more energy and get them through the last bit of the winter before they start uh, meeting other birds, making nests and um, hopefully laying some eggs. And the more we feed the birds and the more we help them and help nature on its way, then the more n birds we're going to have in this little community and uh, that's going to be great. Even though it's February and it's a bit cold and it's a bit wet at the moment, you can still get out and hopefully you've been able to build a shelter that Ross showed you how to do the other day. And so we've got our shelter up in the garden and we've also got a fire going. I wonder how you got on with lighting your fires yesterday. And we've got this lovely little fire going. It's in a nice safe space and um, it's a bit smoky but that's okay and, uh, and that's just keeping it nice and cosy out here um, and I've also got on loads of layers so if I'm looking a bit poofy that's because I've got probably about six layers on under here and some nice big thick boots so that I can stay warm and enjoy being outside comfortably because that's really important. So the types of birds we might get in the garden here would be robins, blackbirds, thrushes, um, sometimes we see blue tits, we saw some this morning, and sparrows, great tits, and those kind of birds. So we're not, we're not going to see necessarily uh, herons or eagles or kestrels or anything like that um, that you might see out in, the, in more wilder places. But in a town, those are the sorts of birds that we might see here. Okay, this is really quick and easy to do. And what you're going to need is some old pine cones. Now, if you don't have any of these, I'm going to tell you some other ways you can do this later. But if you've got some pine cones, that's great. They need to be nice and open, so they need to be warm. Pine cones are a bit magic, actually. If, if you leave them out in the cold, they'll close up and go all tight, a bit like you might if it was cold. And if you put them in front of the fire or on a radiator, then they'll kind of start to open up. And all these parts of the pine cones just open, fan open, and then that's where we're going to put our bird feed. Okay, so we need a pine cone and a piece of string. And if you need any help, you can just ask your whoever you live with, your mum or your dad or your guardian, and then what we're going to do is tie this around here nice and tight so it won't fall off so just around the top of the pine cone and i'm going to do a double knot it doesn't really matter what knot you use and then that hangs nice and firmly from that piece of string okay and now we've done that part we're going to do this fun bit which is to we're going to pour in all the different seeds so what we've got here is all the ingredients we need for our fat balls which is peanuts and they're good quality peanuts and um, we've got this mixture here that i got um, from the shop and that is a mixture of sunflower hearts millet uh, it's got oats in it and what else have we got um, some maize and some sunflower seeds so all sorts of um, different seeds that are in that mix and we're going to put both of these mixes in together we're also going to put in some raisins um, so some nice juicy raisins and cheese as well so um, I need much more than that so we're going to put these in mix these in and peanuts just kind 
kind of equal measures really of all of these and the cheese this is grated cheese um birds love a bit of grated cheese and that, that's full of fat which they need to keep warm in the winter and then the raisins and we're going to mix that up it's good to get your hands in there or if you want to and you don't want to get your hands dirty um you can use a big spoon but i quite like to get my hands in there there we go okay so with these ingredients you can't go wrong but just make sure that the peanuts they're not salted that the birds won't want the salt on the peanuts so just make sure they're plain peanuts and if you stick to some of the bird feeds in the shops they'll be great as well as these ingredients that i've just shown you uh, with the peanuts and all the small seeds raisins and cheese you can add in a few other little ingredients uh, so birds really like cooked rice but it's got to be cooked um, and maybe some small breadcrumbs so if you've got some leftover stale bread you could put some really tiny breadcrumbs in as well and another thing if you're feeling really brave is you can put in some mealworms and you can get those from the shops um, and they are dried real worms so if you're a bit squeamish you might not like it but if you don't mind I know the robins wouldn't mind and they love those so um, you can add those into your mix so here we go that's our mix so what are we going to bind it all together with we've got some lard so this is sold in the shops as well um, next to the margarine normally and it's just a bit of dripping or lard it's called so you can get some of that uh, on your shop and we're going to chop it up and we need to melt it down so what we're going to do is chop it into really small chunks and luckily we've got a fire to melt it all on so i'm just going to put that into the pan all crumbled up and ready for melting over the fire right so i've put a special glove on this is a leather glove you don't want a plastic glove or you could use if you don't have a leather glove you could use an oven glove and that just stops your hand getting burnt over the fire or touching anything hot so that's really good i'm just going to put that on there for a minute and let that start to warm up a bit okay that's just about done you don't want it too hot just melted and warm and definitely not too hot yep so I'm going to pour this all over the seeds lovely and that's a whole block of lard gone in there the birds are going to love it okay take my glove off now and we're going to give that a really good stir just like baking a cake mm, cake That's starting to look really good. Yum. Birds are going to be so happy. Right, so we've got our pine cone with its string and then you're going to have to get your hands in there. You might want to wear a pair of marigold gloves for this, I don't know, but if you don't mind getting a bit dirty, you can just squidge it in there and then make sure that you get a really good covering all the way over the pine cone okay so really squidging it in there what lovely you're definitely going to wash your hands after this one Let's squidge it in there so I'm going to start on another one, squidging it in. And just remember, the birds don't mind if it doesn't look perfect. They're going to eat it anyway because they're going to be really hungry. Winter is a really hard time for the birds and they have to keep warm and fed. And they're getting ready to think about spring and all that that's going to bring for them with nest building. So they need as much energy as they can get. So I'm going to pop that on there. If you've got mixture left over, 
you can keep it in the fridge. And then when these are emptied by the birds, um, you can just warm it back up again on the stove or on a fire or in a microwave and um, just warm it back up and then it will go soft again and then you'll be able to squidge it back on. So you can keep topping them up. The really nice thing about using pine cones and garden string is there's no plastic involved. So at the end, when the birds have finished pecking off all the food, it means you're left with a beautiful little pine cone hanging out of a tree or off a feeder. So it still looks nice. And also it's all stuff that will rot back into the ground eventually one day. Not like plastic, which can't rot anywhere. So we want to have as minimal impact as we can in feeding our birds. So we're just going to use these pine cones. So if you've run out of pine cones or you haven't got any, that's okay. What you can do is just roll these into fatty balls. And what we're gonna do is just pop those into the, into the bowl there. And then I'm gonna put those in the fridge so that they go hard. And what you could do is put them onto a bird table if you have one and um, and feed the birds that way. So that's a way of getting around not having any pine cones. There we go. Another way you can make these fat balls for the birds is to get some cases for cupcakes and put a little bit of a hole through there and poke a bit of string through, bit of garden string or any string you have at home and tie a knot in it. And then that string that's sitting in the cupcake case, easy for me to say, can sit there and you can pour the mix that you've made into the case and then put it into the fridge. And these are some that I made earlier. So we just got these out of the fridge and we're gonna can take the case off there we go, they can go on the fire. And look at that, lovely fat ball. So we've got those and we've got the pine cone ones and we've got the loose ones that can sit on a bird table. So loads of options of how to do this. I think the birds are gonna be very happy. We have got loads of these bird fat balls. So what are we gonna do with them? I think I might leave them on the doorstep to a few of my neighbors and uh, see whether they'll put them up in their gardens and then the birds will be nicely spread out all around the community. Okay, so let's get these hung up in the garden. So I'm gonna tie this up in this little tree here in our garden. We've only got a tiny garden, but we make the most of it. I'm gonna tie that onto the branch and it's nice and high and it's away from the wall or anything where cats could get to. Cats can be a real problem for birds and um, there's lots around. So we need to just make sure that it's out the way of any predators. And I've put them up next to some peanuts and some other just seeds on those feeders. So there it is, our fat balls. I hope you enjoy making those too. So now all you need to do is find a quiet spot, keep out the way, keep quiet, and see what comes into the bird cafe to eat. I like to keep a pen and paper handy so that I can write down what comes in and what different species are there. And there's so many different species. You might even want to get a book like this one so you can look all the birds up and find out more about them. If you want to look a little closer at the birds, you could get some binoculars and they help you see loads of detail on the birds and helps you identify them even more easily. Or if you haven't got a pair of binoculars, you could always make your own. These are some I made earlier. Speaking of finding out more, you could join your local wildlife trust or the RSPB. They've got fantastic websites with loads of activities and ideas and that will help you learn even more about wildlife. Upload your photos and you could be in with the chance of winning a Far Raven goodie bag. And at the end of the week, one lucky family will win a whole family of rucksacks.